Tell me, child of man, what does it mean to live in truth? This is why you don't pre-order, fellas. I mean, I'm not super surprised that this happened. This has happened before. It'll happen again. It'll keep on happening in the modern quadruple A gaming space that we live in today. They're going to add pre-order bonuses. They're going to give you more microtransactions, cosmetics, and bullshit. Just look at the Yakuza Infinite Money series. Now look at Capcom. Hmm. It's kind of obvious. I said this when Diablo 4 was coming out. Don't pre-order. I said this when Resident Evil 4 was coming out. De novo fucking sucks. You should never put in any of your games. And guess what? They're both here in spades. This game, Dragon's Dogma 2, could absolutely be the game of the year. The best game ever. I mean, it is a storied franchise from a storied director who really loves playing video games. And I'm sure a lot of these decisions were not his decisions. However, you know, he did have Rift Crystals in Dragon's Dogma 1. They were annoying, they were bullshit, but this whole like save file deletion, all these pre-order bonuses, all this trash microtransaction bullshit, it's just, ugh. And it makes me happy I don't pre-order games. I haven't pre-ordered a game in years. The most I've ever done is bought a game day and day. Because guess what? There's no reason to pre-order ever. If you're on a PC, there is no such thing as a set amount of stock. And even when I buy physical hardware for the PlayStation 5, there's no such thing as a set amount of stock. Every single game I have ever bought to date, there has been an abundance of stock in the stores. And if there isn't enough stock in the stores, well, I can just go to a different store. The only time I've ever had trouble buying a game was when I was trying to buy a game that recently changed from being a Steam game to an Epic game and they completely botched the physical release because of this last minute change. That game was Metro Exodus. I remember I went to my local shops and I went, I want to buy Metro Exodus. And they said, we don't have that. So I went to a different store. I want to buy Metro Exodus. And they said, we don't have this. And I went to another store and another store. And I had to do it four times. But this wasn't on the developers. This was, well, I guess it wasn't developers. This wasn't on the stores. It was on Epic Games and their bullshit, shitty storefront and bullshit, shitty practices. They just want a monopoly and the fuck everyone over. Same with Sony, same with Microsoft, same with Apple, same with Android even. The only player in the space that truly understands the customer is Steam and Valve. Do nothing and always win. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is an incredibly short video. I was just annoyed by everything going on with Dragon's Dogma 2. The performance issues, the lack of CPU optimization. If you want to know about CPU optimization, you should watch Digital Foundry, especially their reviews around Jedi Survivor about how CPUs are not being utilized correctly. CPUs today have massive multi-threaded functions, multi-core functions, and none of them are being used properly. You can see that scaling really well in Cyberpunk. As you give a game more cores, you get more performance. But in a game like Dragon's Dogma 2, Jedi Survivor, you give it more cores, and sometimes you get less performance because it's really badly optimized, especially when you look at Unreal Engine games. They have terrible CPU optimization. This is a whole other thing. Watch Digital Foundry. The video is in the description about it. It's really deep. It's really interesting. 
See you later. Do not pre-order games, especially from these AAA and quadruple A developers because they hate you and they want your money. See you later.